Here are the five best teams that I'm going to show you today. Let's get watching. Number five. Hello, everybody. Today, I recently bought this um, ceiling fan here, guys, off of Facebook. This is a really cool ceiling fan. I really like it a lot. I think it looks really gorgeous and cute. Um, the problem with it is the pole chain was completely up and one of the light kits were broken. So I had it to put blue tape to. Yeah, what happened is it wasn't really broken. It's just the connector was a little bit loose. So it was messed up a little bit. So I had it to like, put a piece of blue tape just to lift up the bulb a little bit to get it working. But yes, it was working right now. Um, the other three light bulbs are okay. Has built a light kit. The chain had to be replaced because the chain was ruined and beat up. Yeah, the chain spring recently popped out. The chain little spring chain basically yeah, popped out of it. But the thing I do want to show you guys is definitely looks awesome and cool and pretty much everything else about it. Yeah, so yeah. Here's the fan, everybody. So here's a fan on low. Here's a fan on low speed. Oh, and here's the light kit. Here's the fan on low. Yeah, it blew. It blows no air at all. Wow, wow what a shame. Here's medium. Blowing some bit of air, and now here is high. Yeah, the high looks like low speed still, but there we go. And here is it off. You like it for reverence? like it off and also what happened is the fan did came with a down rod actually and I removed it so now the fan looks like this if you find what it looks like let me show you everybody let me show you what it looks like everybody just stop her right up around top there there is a chambering cover up there, and the chamber cover is, is directly screwed onto this motor over here, and that's what's making the fan hold on. And the screws are basically holding this thing so this thing doesn't fall down and basically, you know, like break the fan. The problem is, this is this is this is like a risky job to do. I recommend not to do it on your fan because it could, it could result in a lot of problems of a fan falling sometimes or crashing or bleh, die on the floor. But yeah, this was pain in the butt to hang up, and my father was able to carry the motor for me, help me a lot. It took out two people, which was so annoying because I'm pretty sure you should do it by yourself. Kind of. But yeah, there is a fan though. And yes, yeah, these are the blades. Um I didn't I didn't use the blades I came with because the blades were already messed up. Here's the um screws on the back of the blade. These on these these are bracket arms that are replaced the date on the black the bracket arms are, are, are a little bit short. So that's why I, I, can, I can see the bit of like mark right where it was before. Yeah, because the problem was they were never removed. That's why. That's the first reason why it's like that. But yeah. And yeah, and yeah, these are glass shades. Actually, maybe I make a pretty touch to it. And they do have reflection sometimes around the edge. Oh, wait, is the bulb even working? Yeah, it's working. Good. Yeah, that's what that's making fan looks really cool. I know I know you see the bit of part of the ceiling that wasn't painted before because the chair was a little bit too short, but that's fine. Who cares? But yeah, it looks kinda ugly though. Eh, no one can really see it. Unless you were asleep, unless you were high up in the air like this. That's the chambery part of the fan. What makes it easier now is that now, now I could just clean over there and just be easy and to be done. It's a piece of cake. It's really cool. I really like the fan a lot. I think it's awesome, sweet. Pretty much everything and looks good actually. Yeah, I guess. That's that's the that's the end this that's the end of the video pretty much. If you like if you like the video guys, please leave a like and subscribe. 
I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Bye bye. Let me just, let me just get down for you. Have a better view. Number four. Hey guys, today this is a new lamp I got just today from Goodwill. This is like this is like a Lights America desk lamp. So cool about it, as I said, the button here is when I touch that. Turns on the lamp, which looks really cool. Look, look at that. Yeah, there's a black spot. Just telling you know, it's dead. Touch it, turns it off. This is like some America on it. That's the symbol for the company. Cool as that. It does the top part of it. It kind of looks like a street lamp to me. Kind of. And yes, you can actually and yes, you, you, you can also replace the bulb by popping out one of these clips. And then you replace the bulb. And then you basically push it up and the clips and the rest of the bulb in there. Keep it nice and snug. And yes, it's way better now because it's really quickly. There's no ballast at all. So you just tap it, have light. Tap it, it's right off. But for these kind of old, annoying lamps that are really annoying, you have to basically hold the rip out for about a few seconds and wait for it to warm up and then you let go. That's something that will cause a lot of flickering if you don't do it correctly at the correct time, which is really annoying. That's why Lights of America decided to upgrade their lamps a little bit, make it look more fancier, and have this nice sensitive button, which we just piece of cake. The top part of it, there's there's like the bend the next. You can actually adjust it if you wanted to. And adjusting is a piece of cake. And there you have it. The Lights America lamp. It looks beautiful, gorgeous, and looks helpful. So yeah, guys. And, 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 and if, if you want to work and buy this, you can buy the lamp from eBay, Facebook, Habitat Store, Goodwill. Or maybe Amazon. I'm not sure, but probably Amazon would sell it, but like an LED version, maybe. I'm not sure, but go ahead, go ahead, pop on Amazon. And also, maybe, maybe Home Depot might sell it. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they didn't sell it today, but yeah, whatever. Here's the title it says Sun Light Lamp Lights of America. There it is, everybody. Yeah, guys, if you like the video, everybody, of me showing you this cold classic lamp, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do not, don't forget to hit the like button. I hope you liked the video, guys. I hope you appreciate the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, everybody. So for our next video, we're going to be showing you um, maybe how to change out the light bulb. Anyways, though, guys, for now, everybody, if you like the video, guys, please like and subscribe. I say it again. Hit the like button and turn on notifications if you need to. Anyways, like guys, please, please like and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. Sheesh. Number three. Hey, guys. Today, I recently got my new AC over here today, guys. It is like the, it, it it is like it, it is like the beast AC kind of. It looks really cool and everything else, guys. The AC looks fantastic, beautiful, gorgeous, classic, and pretty much all that other cool stuff about it. What's more interesting about the AC is it actually the on and off button here. Cool thing about it is you can, whenever you tap this, you can you can go ahead and turn this thing off. Where now the AC is not gonna be running all day. You can turn on to have the AC running all day. You can also you can also adjust it the way you want it to be. So it kind of speeds. You can also adjust the theme you want. You can also adjust the temperature by here, or you can or you can do all the settings on your remote. You can also adjust it up side, the other side, down the other side, and the center, and right that to both of them. You can also have a handy remote with you. And on your remote, on the remote, it basically tells you the time, the temperature, and the features. Hit the hit the hit the power icon, turns on. You hit mode, you turn it on, you hit mode, and now that's gonna now that's gonna adjust your settings there the way you want it to be. So this is mode option. You can you 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 can, you can pretty much adjust the way you want. 
This is where the this where we spawned by the remote. You can you can you can also tell it what time you want to turn off, power off, stuff like that. You can also adjust you can you can also adjust the temperature from the remote. You can go up or down the liking you want. Whenever you mark it, give it a couple of seconds to figure it out, and you're completely done. And also, you do the option for sleep mode where your AC will be quiet and not be really loud. And there's also other options here where you can basically turn it on here where it will remove all the bad smells from the room. From the room. There's a fan option where you can adjust the fan speed from the AC here so you can, you can blow the correct air you need. The only one feature it doesn't have is you cannot adjust those. And whenever you want your AC to be okay, you can you can even you can even turn off the settings on your AC. So 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 if you don't want any of that showing you basically you basically hit the lock button and it hides all that. Whenever whenever you do want to see it, you can you can just turn it on. How cool is that? And whenever you're done, you hit you hit the off button and it turns off. Whenever you want to turn it on, you hit the on button, it goes on. Turn it off, it's done. So what are you waiting for everybody? Um just put yourself an AC in your window and get started. And also, ACs do spread gases to make the room nice and cool. It has a bit of foam in there so the outside air will not exit in. And it, and it, and it, can, it can be cut into a wall or into a window for easy access. It, it only belongs in summer months, not the winter months. And cool thing about ACs is also ACs need a lot of voltage to power on. ACs are not so great, like just like central air is much better. But we know that ACs pretty much work on any home and house that you, that you, that you recommend it would pretty much work with. So what are we waiting for today, guys? Go to Home Depot, buy yourself an AC, and get started. These are a store you can buy from, to buy AC from. You can buy AC from Target, how about that store, Walmart. Okay, okay, restart, restart, sorry, I got confused. So you hear here the stores you can buy from Home Depot, Target, Lowe's. Um, what was uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and much other more places. Yeah, guys, so I'm pretty sure any, anybody who's famous with this company, pretty much, my company looks deep annoying. And there you go, guys. What are you waiting for, guys? Go, 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 go get an AC for yourself and install in your window today. And enjoy this beautiful sticking out of your window AC. I know, I know it makes your home look ugly, but in reality, you're, you're on the ew, fresh air blowing into your house. What are you waiting for, everybody? Finally, just buy yourself an AC and enjoy it for your home. We hope you enjoy it, and we will we'll hope that you definitely do like it. What are you waiting for? Get yourself one today, right now, for only about $10.99. What are you waiting for today? Buy yourself one right now. Number two. Hey guys, today recently got this, I, got, I recently got this like old desk lamp here. Um, from the I'm at that store, it was a really good lamp. I pretty much loved it a lot. It was the best lamp ever made from the Habitat store. It looks it looks nice and beautiful and beauty and everything else makes it look classic. These kind of lamps definitely look awesome, beauty and looks nice and classicness, pretty much everything else. To turn it on, you hold the right button, wait for a couple of seconds to warm up, and you let go and it turns right on. You need to you have, you just have the black button to diffuse it. And there you go. And that's how your lamp works. To replace the bulb, you just twist it right out. And you get a new one. You put it right in there and you're good to go. Give it a quick test. Make sure it's unplugged from your outlet supply before you do any of that. And enjoy your beauty lamp. And what are we waiting for today? Go get yourself one from the Habitat store, Facebook, eBay, or Goodwill. What are you waiting for today? Get, get yourself this gorgeous dust lamp today. Go ahead. Buy it now. Number one. Hey guys, today over here, 
I have a Roomba vacuum here. It's the, it's the great vacuum. I pretty much love it a lot. The, the thing about it is it cleans your house really goodly. The thing, the thing I hate about it is the Roomba normally gets stuck in like places where it shouldn't be stuck in. The Roomba comes with two wall sensors. It comes with the vacuum itself. And it's really cool. Here are the wall sensors. And they're beauty. Here's the Roomba itself. What a beauty. Oops. And the Roomba is also a really good quality machine where you can, you can put it anywhere you want. And now get rid of those bulky old Roombas that, that get stuck and get jammed and don't even talk to you at all. And why not get a Roomba that goes, hello, what's going on here today? How you been doing today? Are you doing fine? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Are you doing okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever. So what I went for today, everybody, go go to irobot.com and then see it says submit your Roombas and buy it. Roombas can be found at Walmart, eBay, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, and much more places. So what are you waiting for today, guys? Go get yourself a robot vacuum today. You can also get robot vacuums that can, that can take us off home, clean, or spot. Whenever you went to start the Roomba, please hit the clean button whenever it lights up. You tap it again, and we're, and we're play the cool sound. It's out of the dock. And, then, and this is what the back looks like. The back. You get a nice one brush, which you shouldn't force to spin. You get a capsule wheel over here for the Roomba to navigate easily. And you get two brushes here. That's what's not really supposed to dock the debris. It, 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 and people think it goes this way, but it goes actually this way, sucking up all that debris. To replace them, you just basically pull, you basically put this little tab out of here. And then you, then you just take it out. Mash the shapes again. Make sure the correct shape. And when it's good, you basically, you basically just push it right in there. And when it's snug in there, you basically push it in there. You close it up. You click it, you hear a click. You turn your vacuum over. Give it like, give it like a quick vacuum test. You have home, which will, which will, so the home button, which the house like on the home button basically takes the room back to his own dock. And whenever that's pushed, it takes, it takes it right back to the dock. Over there is the... Is 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 like is like is like the spot cleaning app. So what it does always is this thing is supposed to um be used to do basically stuff. So what does what does that mean? Is for us? Here's the room of vacuum here. Just say right. If if if, if I if I from dummy from dummy and see clean, I want it to be charging. You tap the clean button. You know, go find its dock. You tap you tap this icon. This this will this will this will make the room go in circles. Be feature aka called spot mode. In, in, in a plain old clean mode, you, you hit the clean button and start to clean back into your home. I hit a dock icon. Let's see, go back to his own dock. And yes, yeah, sometimes it does that to just fix that real quick. You just push his dock back. And yes, yeah, quick warning do not put your docks against shelves, chairs. Always put them flat against the wall so they don't really become in your way. Then these walls are basically work like this. You basically gotta push their buttons, and then and whichever way you want the Roomba not to go, you you, you basically basically just leave it like that, and the Roomba will not cross the line at all. And yeah, and also you know, the Roomba can tell you if his battery is dead or low and stuff like that. And also, if you do want to go a bit more handy, you can download the iRobot app on your iPhone, Android, Windows, and much more devices whenever you install it on your devices like your machines then what you can do is you're gonna you're gonna open the Roomba app whenever you open up the Roomba app you're gonna it's gonna ask you add a Roomba you go through your own setup when you're done through the setups when you when you, when you finally go and sheesh you're done with the setups then you're good to go how cool is that that's why Roombas were made by iRobot to help you clean your home Roombas were made to meant to clean your home and get them sparkly clean what are you waiting for today, guys? Finally buy yourself a Roomba vacuum that's in a vacuum in your house. Give you a smooth clean and be like, wow, woohoo. My house is sparkly. And you get a shot of the word sparkle. What are we waiting we, we for, guys? Please, 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 also, Roombas can also clean floors. Roombas can pretty much avoid wires, nails, and other items. Safety for pets. Roombas can also avoid pets from getting hurt or injured. Just like a fish. 
So we're waiting for it, guys. Get yourself a Roomba vacuum today at Roomba.com. Woohoo! Get your Roomba today. Sheesh. Thanks for watching. We'll show you 10 different kind of inventions tomorrow. Why don't we for today, guys? Enjoy your freedom. Bye-bye. Shh. <laughs>